Where are we going, Gigi? Cagayan de Oro. Louder. Cagayan de Oro. Louder. People are sleeping. Cagayan de Oro. We are here at the bus station, bus terminal in Davao City. And we're preparing to go to Cagayan de Oro. It's our first time trying to go like with the bus, I think, in the Philippines. The people are already overwhelmingly nice. They welcomed us to their bus with a full smile on their face. Let's see, I'm very curious what kind of facilities we will have with this rural transit bus company from Davao to Cagayan de Oro. In case you are like us, wandering through the country of the wonderful Philippines. <laughs> you from Davao or Cagayan de Oro? I'm from Quinton. Ah, Quinton? Okay, nice. for kids. This is a very nice bus. I like it. Thank you. Look, Gigi, so many holes on this uh, ticket. I have no idea what they mean, but. I'm sure they mean something and we're on a good track to Cagayan de Oro. Let's go! Next stop, Cagayan de Oro. We should reach there in how many hours, Gigi? Five hours. Five hours? Okay, very good. Gigi, they have Angry Birds on the bus. I cannot believe this. I know what I'm doing, five hours. Unfortunately, bus that has stopped. Okay, then let's try comedy. Unfortunately, bus that has stopped. Okay, then let's try drama. Unfortunately, bus that has stopped. Okay, I think it only has games and uh, music. Yep, apparently only games. Either way, we have no headphones, so at least I can play Angry Birds till we reach in the Kaga and the so nice I mean you literally have everything you have mountains you have waterfalls you have lush green forests why didn't we come here before I mean this is by far my favorite island that we've ever been so far in the Philippines this is freaking incredible and just like that we have arrived at this checkpoint area it's uh, Lorega quarantine vendors association and we have some military people here and our bus is being uh, controlled hello and the kid here is pretty friendly Gigi is inside the bus and I went outside to explore so yes okay very good checkpoints mean safety safety means good people good people means happy Michael that being said I think uh, I'm the only idiot outside in the middle of the street talking to you let's see what they have here in the shops la, la, la. oh okay we have some uh, thingamajigs Ooh, hello mini durians how much is one 50 50 okay let me see if I have 50 pesos I don't have 50 pesos. Just a second, I come back. Okay, got the money. Pam, pam, pam. Okay. Huh. Which one should I get? Uh, this one is saying. Uh, I love Buddha. Okay. Bukidnon. Okay, this one. This one is nice. Thank you. And I love the vowel. Also 50. Perfect. 100. There you go. Thank you so much. Yay! Supporting local businesses since 1988. Now we have here some sweets. And some more sweets. 
we already have sweets inside the car, so we're good. And we have some puppies. Hello. Hello. Okay. Interesting things around here. In the middle of nowhere. Hello. Okay. And some peanuts. Okay. And yeah. Just like that. GG. I brought you some magnets. Hey. <laughs> Trying to sit down while the bus is moving in the serpentines around here. Not the best idea, but nevertheless, I filmed this part again, but I have to film it again because for some reason our camera got stuck. But oh well, you like the durians? Oh, it's so cute! Oh, it's so cute! It's not smelling. And I gave you another one. I gave you I love the wow. Oh, nice? With the, with the snakes? I don't know, with a fruit kind of fruit and a basket. So cute. Nice? Uh huh. Okay. Gigi, hold yourself. It's very complicated. Okay. That was our pit stop in the middle of nowhere. Now time to continue our adventure. So far, it's nice. I enjoy the ride. I think it's worth it. Well worth it for the 800 plus pesos we paid. I think it's really good. Um, AC is blasting, music is singing, people are sleeping. It smells a little bit like durian inside because of course we don't need the know we're in the wall. We just let the wall. Everybody has durian. Really nice. So temperature here, not very hot, not very cool. A washroom. I like I like the the seats. They're comfortable too. So so far so good. We're gonna keep on enjoying the views and hopefully you guys are gonna consider taking a bus going to Okaga and the Oro if you want to do that uh, because it's a very scenic road it's very beautiful like you're gonna have we're gonna see like plants and mountains and the rice fields and corn fields maybe and a lot of palm trees and coconut trees it's really nice and now we stop the bus and we can enjoy a wonderful little pomelo. As you can see, outside is getting a bit dark and it's raining, but we have a flashlight. We I came prepared. So we can enjoy this wonderful pomelo that Gigi got from uh, Davao. Yeah. This is one of the best things that you can get in Davao besides durian and other things. So, oh yeah. Oh man, this is hard, Gigi. Oh. Oh. Life. <laughs> okay, Gigi, you go first. Try the pomelo. Pomelo. Mm. Well one? Tastes like grapes. Mm. Very good. Oh god, man. It's like a combination of grapefruit and um, orange and uh, better in a way. We have pomelo also in my country, but we import it and it's bad. It has no taste. It's but it's this like one. Grapes, honestly. Mm. It's very juicy. To me, it tastes like grapefruit in a way. Mm -hmm. Maybe because they are related? A little bit not sour, but like bitter. Okay. Very, very little bitter. First time tying Sweet. Filipino pomelo. Very good. Mm. I agree. And it's pink. Mm -hmm. If you haven't tried this one ever in Mindanao, you have been living under a rock. Definitely. I, I totally recommend it. A full fruit is 100 peso. Um, a clean fruit is 70 peso. A peeled one, one, right? A peeled one. Very good. Only 70 pesos, Gigi. That's a bargain. It's a steal. You literally stole the man's pomelo. <laughs> I think you can go even for cheaper. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Okay. At this point, TG, anything that is pomelo related goes to me. Okay. <laughs> and now, I think uh, time for the reaction time to finish and continue with the driving time of the bus. Because the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. This is something weird is happening here. I saw outside on the street Valencia. 
Are we in Spain? <gasps> we made it to Spain. Oh my God, I thought we were in the Philippines. Is there a secret tunnel or something that I don't know about? I don't know what's it. has been already five hours. <laughs> The GG, they were promising us five hours on this bus and it's more than five hours. I think we might reach space. Ay, 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 GG, I think the wormhole has been reached. <laughs> I'm freezing, my God. It's very cold in Spain at this time. The plane in Spain stays mainly in the rain. Uh, Apparently, it looks like in Valencia we're having the dinner and everybody is commotioning and commotioning to get out of the bus and get the dinner. So, let's go eat Gigi. Ah, let's see what kind of Spanish food we have here. So Gigi, looks like in Spain we have um, pork cucino, quinilao and... Uh, soup, pork soup. Pork soup? Okay. Let's see the pork cucino. Good. Yeah. Good. Yes, sweet. A bit chewy. Mm. It's fishy. Good food here in Spain. Very good. I like it. Valencia. Who would have known? 82 kilometers later. Hello! I'm arriving! <laughs> GG! We have finally arrived in Pagandoro. After how many hours? What time is it? It's almost 10 o'clock. We left at 2. So you do the math. 8 hours. Crap. At least we listen to the whole discography of Michael Bolton and Celine Dion. That being said, thank you so much for watching our video. We have arrived. So, Cagayan de Oro. Here we come.